A handout photo made available by the German government, Mindes Regiering, on June 9 shows world leaders during the second day of the G7 meeting in Charlevoix, Canada. Jesco Denza EPA Frex Shutterstock, there were hundreds, if not thousands, of photos taken at the Group of Seven Summit in Quebec City this weekend, a two-day gathering of leaders from member states to discuss everything from climate change to international trade policy. But one in particular stood out after it was published Saturday and ricocheted around the internet for its serial composition. In the photo, German Chancellor Angela Merkel stands behind a long, narrow table, both hands pressed firmly into its surface atop some documents that are angled every which way. With as neutral an expression as possible, she stares directly at President Trump, who sits on the other side of the divide. Is he angry? Bored? Amused? Rare is the countenance, where all three are equally plausible, but here it's difficult to say. Trump's eyes stare blankly ahead, focused in the direction of Merkel, but not quite affixed upon the German Chancellor. His arms are crossed in front of his chest, revealing below them only the length and wayward tendency of his tie. Surrounding Merkel and Trump are a slew of other leaders, each with an unplaceable gaze. From his partially obscured side profile, one can only make out French President Emmanuel Macron's furrowed forehead. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is fully visible in the frame, but his thoughts remain just as inscrutable as the others, with his arms also crossed against his chest and his glance somewhere over Merkel's head. To Abe's left stands U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton, the only one in the picture who looked as if he might have been in the middle of talking. If he was, though, no one appeared to be listening. The photo first appeared on Merkel's official Instagram account around noon Saturday. Day 2 of the G7 summit in Canada, spontaneous meeting between two working sessions, part of the German leader's caption stated in English. It was a far cry from the official photos the White House had released of Trump's visit to the G7 summit, which were mostly posed pictures or those that depicted Trump in a serious, commanding light. The disparity prompted some to wonder, was Merkel or someone on her staff trolling you? As president? After all, during the summit, Trump had threatened to enact stiff penalties if other countries did not agree to dramatically reduce or end tariffs on American goods. Well, if they retaliate, they're making a mistake, Trump told reporters Saturday when asked about what might happen if those countries did not agree. We're like the piggy bank that everybody is robbing. And that ends. The day before, Trump had called for Russia to be reinstated to the group, despite its annexation of Ukraine's Crimea region four years ago, a stance that broke with the other leaders at the gathering. As The Washington Post's Damian Paletta, Angerin and John Wagner reported Friday, Trump's demand got the G7 summit off to an even rougher start, some felt it was this power dynamic that Merkel's photo perfectly captured. Big power move from Merkel's social media team, posting this extremely memeable picture on her Instagram, observed freelance journalist Elena Cressy. And meme it the people did. To many, the picture was something more than a thousand words. It was art. It's got a Norman Rockwell quality to it, HuffPost congressional reporter Matt Fuller tweeted.
Fuller wasn't only one who saw echoes of one of America's preeminent early 20th century painters and illustrators in the assortment of enigmatic facial expressions of a room full of the world's most powerful leaders. As Trump's body language in the photo suggests, he may not have been thrilled to be there at all, as the Post's Damien Paletta and Angerin reported on Saturday, despite the tension, in and out of the photograph, all seven countries at the summit signed a joint communique that underscored trade rules, the Associated Press reported late Saturday afternoon. For us it was important that we have a commitment to a rule-based trade order, that we continue to fight against protectionism, and that we want to reform the World Trade Organization," Merkel said after the summit, according to Reuters. Read more, Canada's Trudeau rips Trump over tariffs as G7 meeting fails to calm tensions in Trump, some fear the end of the world order the latest political rollership test, a picture of Ivanka Trump seated at the Oval Office desk.